Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've morning, good morning. How today. are you all? I think I'm a little bit early today. But um, anyway, I hope you're all well. And thanks so much for joining me today. Um, live with Libby at 12 on a Monday instead of a Tuesday. So how about that? All right. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Libby Dyson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia, up in the beautiful Lake Macquarie area near Newcastle and the Hunter Valley. So beautiful day up here today where we're um, having, it's quite warm outside actually. So, but I'm hoping for some rain. Good morning, Rails. How are you? All right, new hairdo, got sick and tired of drying the fringe. So thanks for sharing. So I, um, yeah, got rid of it. It may make a comeback. All right, so we're going to use beautiful friendship today. I'm... So, Rails, you've got two. Good morning, Karen. How are you? Good morning, Helen. How are you? So, Rails, you've got two to go in the drawer, and I'll share when I turn the... Good morning, Chrissy ann Thanks for sharing. Um... When I turn the camera around, I'll show you what you're going in the drawer for. How are you, Helen? I hope you're better now. Poor Helen's had um, a terrible bout of um, pneumonia. So that's not good. So I've got Karen and Helen and Chrissy. I'm just doing yours. So today I've just got the one announcement, and that's the buy three, get one free designer series paper sale now you have to buy three packs of designer series paper then you choose a fourth one that is free some people get a little confused about that so the papers involved are perennial essence see a silhouette come sail away Magnolia Lane, Garden Lane, Follow Your Art, Woven Threads, Dinosaur Design DSP, Bird Ballad and Pressed Petals. Good morning, Donna Gray. How are you? So they're all wonderful DSPs. So buy three and choose one of those free once you've bought three. And this goes till the end of the month. So don't leave it. Get in quick. Okay. So, um... I think that's about all I have to share with you at the moment. So Donna, I'll put your name in my drawer. Now don't forget to like my page and you'll get notifications of when I go live and share this video with your friends. Let them know I'm out here. Good morning, Kathy. How are you? Good morning, Kathy House. How are you? I'll see you on Saturday, Kathy here. Yeah. Kathy House. I've got a Christmas class on Saturday. So we're making cards and a surprise. Um, all to do with Christmas. So I'm really looking forward to that. Don't forget if you comment and participate during the video. Oh, sorry, Kathy. I'm not very good at iPads. Um, I'd say refresh your screen or turn it off and turn it on again that's my um technological expertise with ipads go out of um oh good i'm glad you're well okay go um kathy johnson if you go out of watching me to another page and then go back and see if that works i don't i don't know all right so we've talked about the designer series paper sale and you're going to buy a designer series paper because it's a great bargain you save twenty dollars all right so um without further ado i'm going to turn the camera around and we're using beautiful friendship today and we're going to do some double time stamping which i haven't done for a while so 
Yeah, I'm stocking up on DSP too, Rails. How much DSP do we actually need? Good morning, Kay Jacob. How are you today? Getting around a bit better? It's Kay's birthday soon, tomorrow. What's the date today? All right, so Kay, I've got your name in too. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to get stamping. Okay, so we're using Beautiful Friendship today. I've made a few things, a few projects with Beautiful Friendship and it's in the annual catalogue on page 123. Here it is. And it's just beautiful. All right, so it's a distinctive stamp set and so it means it's sort of like a photo um, image I guess would be the best way to describe it just need to cut up a few more bits of paper um, and when you get it make sure you season it use a plastic eraser and just rub over the images and then you'll have um then clean them of course and then you'll have uh nice images when you stamp now i have more success with the Suttles family of inks than I do with others but that doesn't mean to say dark art colours don't work well <laughs> just means that my stamping's a bit um, off the mark so I've just got to cut up more bits of paper that's all um yes yeah, so and it's a really pretty stamp set. It's got this large image in it and smaller images as well. So don't um, don't be put off by distinctive stamp sets. They're really lovely. I'm just cutting up more bits of paper for those of you who haven't realised that yet. So um, what I've done, so it's on page 123 and it's only $38. It's a photopolymer stamp set so you can see exactly where you're stamping and it's got some beautiful um, sentiments in it as well as the lovely flowers and you can do all sorts of things. All right, so. Now that I've done that, put it on the floor. All right, so what I've done so far with it is this one's on my blog today with heat embossing with the um, shimmery black embossed powder. And come on, here you go, on vellum. So I've got a video on how to to do that um, today and how to adhere that to your card without seeing the adhesive see can't see it wonderful all right so i've used um calypso coral highland heather so saffron and pear pizzazz on the card today now this card's coming up on my blog tomorrow. It's got Balmy Blue, Highland Heather, Rococo Rose, and I used Old Olive. So, and I've used the stamp once, get two things out of it. <laughs> All right, and this is coming up on my blog on Thursday, and it's a bit of a fancy fold. I'll see if I can get this off. All right, I've already stamped on the envelope. So when you open it up, it looks like this. And you've got a card inside an envelope. And there's a template on how to make the envelope and all the 
um, instructions and everything will be on my blog on Wednesday and save yourself some ribbon what I managed to do was I cut this Rococo Rose linen ribbon in half lengthways and then I just added it with liquid glue bead of liquid glue right along the belly band and yeah so that's my tip for today all right now I've got that organized I'll see if I've missed any comments and have a drink of coffee and then we'll get started all right oh you want to see what prize you're going to win now look if you win today um you do need to pm me your details otherwise i can't send it to you so you get to do choose two go along there all right so i want to sh show you that one i have to put that in a new bag so there's this one this one this one or this one that's it or you can choose two of one so choose two of any of those and that's what you win in today's draw okay all right so we're going to get started okay. i have cut some uh, rococo rose and now i'm throwing the whisper white away all right now i've got the detailed trio punch and i don't think it's going to let me punch through that we'll give it a try and see but, oh yes maybe it did it did how about that so i've got that piece that i've punched i've got another piece of rococo rose that i'm going to punch in the same corner and the envelope piece of whisper white a uh, shimmery white and another piece of shimmery white All right, so that's they're all punched out with the detailed trio punch. So that's the punch we're using today. All right, now I've got a piece of shimmery white. Which is going to go on the front of the card and the measurements for all of this will be on my blog so it's going to go on the front of the card like that so we're covering the whole of the front of the card with shimmery white and then i've got a panel oh, might have to cut that down a bit I need to cut that down a bit more so i'm going to take a bit more off that now I think it was 13.4 so I'll take it down to 12.4 and it was 9 so I'll take it down to 8 centimetres. All right. Oh. So I've taken a centimetre off that one and then what did I do with a piece of shimmery white? So I'll take a centimetre off that, the length of that one and I'll put all the measurements on my blog when this goes live later in the week, probably Friday centimeter off that one all right now we should be cooking with gas okay 
let's see how that looks. That looks better, doesn't it? Except we're going this way and this way. All right, so that's what it's going to look like. All right, now I'm going to take the Rococo Rose away so I don't get ink everywhere. And I'm going to put these two bits of Whisper White together. And with my trusty sponge that's sort of a bit inky, a bit gluey, it's got liquid glue on it, not that you can see it. Um, I used it on the vellum yesterday, so pop it down, bring it up. Oh, it's not going to work. All right, plan B. is to use some non-permanent glue on there Normally I'd use some liquid glue, but it's not dry enough. I didn't, don't have time to leave it dry enough. All right, so I'm going to centre those about there, like that. Bring in my trusty stamp and piece net. And look at these beautiful flowers. So I'm going to um, stamp this large image. Down the bottom here. I'm going to layer up. That's just a small flower. And I need some leaves on another block. You know what I did yesterday? I I put the rose on the block back the front. <laughs> yeah, I did. And um, of course, it just came out in a lump. So just as well, there are two sides to every bit of card. All right. Rococo Rose. Don't you love the Stampin' Up um, storage caddies? Just great. Okay, Rococo Rose. And I'm doing this one. Out there. I think 
Now you will get a bit of a line between the two bits of card, but don't worry too much about that because you're going to put some card there. Now I also want, do you know what? We might do the card and the, the card insert and the envelope. For those of you who haven't seen this trick, Good morning, Elaine. How are you? I'll just pop your name in my drawer. Now, don't forget if you win today, let me know what um, card fronts you'd like and tell me your um, address so I can send it to you. All right, so I'm going to ink this up again. What you do is you put, got that the wrong way around, you put your card stock next to your envelope, just like that. And you have to stamp on the left-hand side of your envelope because you put your stamp on the right side. And we don't want to mess up, Mr Postman. So and then you just stamp across the two. Saving time <laughs> and energy. How do you like that? All right. So while I've got it, I'll just glue it in. Oh, this must be coming to near the end. You know how it gets the glue stuck on it? So this is just an ordinary piece of wisp white that I've cut down to about, I don't know, nine and a half by 13.9, something like that. All right, so that's the inside of our card done. And we've done that much on there. And I want to put, um, this image, this reminds me a bit of hydrangeas, um, and pool party, I'm just going to stamp that off down here so I'm not going to use it all and that's why I keep the plastic bag on my stamp and scrub so I don't get ink everywhere all right and handy for that all right and then I've got um, the small flower in the cocoa rose Another one. Um, oh, here's some old, uh, some pear pizzazz for the leaves. Now we're about done apart from our sentiment. So I'm just going to add some leaves in here and some coming down from here and some here And maybe some coming up from here. All right, what do you think? One, 
two, three, four, one more lot of leaves. Might do some here. There we go. Now I just need to pop these away, otherwise I put my fat fingers in them and get ink everywhere I don't want them. Good morning, Maria. How are you? Put you in the drawer. All right. So, sentiment. I thought I'd put it on a block. I did. And some... Memento um, I think I'll put that about there How's that? What do we think? Enough stamping? We layer it up now. Right, pop this out of the way. So I carefully take that off, and you can see where we've got a little bit of stamping on the outside and I'm just going to use some liquid glue don't forget we decorated the corners with that um, detailed trio punch if you haven't got that it's well worth buying um, Got three things on it. So got the corner rounder. Only left just a scant edge around there. So now we'll marry it up with the with, with the shimmery white piece. There we go. How's that? Double time stamping. And then add this to the front of the card. And then if I can find it, we'll add some shimmer to the whole front of the card. Alright. Now don't forget this is covering the whole of the front of the card. And I um, did the corner, rounded the corner off. Uh, somewhere I've got the envelope. So we've used the beautiful Friendship stamp set. And we've done some double time stamping with Rococo Rose and Shimmery White. And there's the inside of the card and the envelope. Now I just want to see if I can find... Um, uh, shimmer paint. I didn't get it out and I should have got every colour under the sun except the one I want. Oh, it's got to be here. 
champagne mist, that'll do. Yeah, we'll do champagne mist. All right, so champagne. This has got um um some yeah, put on me. Um isocol rubbing alcohol in it buy it from the supermarket not the chemist and then i've put about 20 drops of the champagne mist in it and so then what you do is and you won't probably be able to see this on camera make sure the nozzle is facing your project ask me how i know and i'm just going to Give all of that. A spray. And let it dry. Don't touch it while it's drying and it won't take long to dry. Um, but it gives it, it's a bit wet at the moment, gives it all a lovely shimmer. All right. So that's our card today. And you can find Beautiful Friendship on page 123 of the annual catalogue. And I know I haven't done anything from the holiday catalogue yet, but I will. Um, just feeling a bit too far out from Christmas yet so that's what we've used today along with the detail trio punch so quick and easy all right so these are the card fronts you're going in the drawer for today so if you win tell me which two you want if you want two of one um, I'm happy to do that I've got a heap of these if anyone wants two of these and you can just glue them onto a card and you've got Christmas cards um, ready to go. All right, so now don't forget you can buy all these products in my online store and there's the DSP sale. Buy three, get the fourth for free from selected products. All right. So this person is the winner today, Chrissy, Chrissy Ann Forbes. So PM me your address and which two card fronts you would like and I'll send them out in the mail uh, Wednesday, probably. Probably won't go anywhere tomorrow. All right, so thanks so much for... You've nearly got your Christmas cards done. Oh, you're good, Kay. I've made Christmas cards, but I just haven't done any Facebook Lives with them. All right, so hope you all like that. Oh, I was going to put some um, embellishments on it. Wait a minute. Don't go anywhere. Uh, how about, no, how about some... clear and frosted and clear epoxy droplets how about we put a couple of those on in the frosted seeing as I've champagne misted everything um, before you go so you can see it totally finished all right so. On there. On there. Whoops. All right. And the third one. All 
down here. All right, so that's frosted and clear epoxy droplets we've used on the card as well, just to give it a bit of bling to finish it off. All right, so that's it from me today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll be back again next Monday at 12. Um, Chrissy ann don't forget to PM me which two card fronts you'd like and your address. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now. And doing what we love. Show. One car